Hey, hello everybody, Santa Claus back again from Batangas, last day of the month here, tomorrow's the 1st of June already, hard to believe, and we're still on this uh, lockdown stuff, just ridiculous, um, just have to keep shaking my head. Uh, who knows when it's going to end. Anyway, sent the money to Dingalan again today for Jimmy and Michelle, our caretakers, for those new viewers who uh, don't know the story. We do have a property in Dingalan. We've had it for a while. Dingalan Aurora near Bel Air. Uh, it's a six hour drive from here. And um, the drive isn't great. It's not that fun. It's a lot of windy mountain roads. But, I mean, it's not terrible. And, uh, also, to even get there, right now with this lockdown stuff, you actually need to show that you're a resident there, that you own property there. And, uh, they'll let you in. But if you don't have a residency there, they won't even let you in. Um... We talked to Michelle today after we sent her the money so she can get the number from us. Uh, she picks up the number and then she goes and picks up the, num the money from, uh, I think they, they use smart, some kind of way they send money to each other here. I don't really know. My wife does it. But um, anyway, Michelle said, yeah, there's a case of COVID over there, but who knows if it's real. They're using that swab test. Uh, there's two major swab tests over here, the quick ones. And they're, they're no good. They're no good, those swab tests. They give you false positives all the time. You can do your research on it. You can watch YouTube videos on it. But these everybody's using them still, even though they're false positives. And if you turn up false positive, you know, then, then you're on quarantine and all this other crap. So it's useless. Uh, unless, unless they go to the, the better one, but then you have to pay for it. And from what I hear, it's $100, 5,000 pesos for the better one. That's ah, just ridiculous. Anyway, um... Uh, I also we I also told Michelle I I changed my mind on uh, selling that place real quick. The people that were interested, you know, they just keep trying to talk you down even more, and I'm not going to lose money on that place. Uh, you know, even though we don't have a title, we still have rights to be there. Nobody's going to kick us out. It's our it's our property, even though it's not titled. We do have rights, we have the papers, we have to pay taxes. Um, actually, no, we, we've never paid taxes there. It's whoever holds the title, has, pays the taxes. Uh, I don't know, nobody's ever asked us for taxes. Uh, even if they did, taxes aren't much anyway. Our property tax here in Batangas is only a thousand pesos a year, 20 bucks. But anyway, I told her uh, we're going to hold on to it because um, one reason is I watched this guy on YouTube. He's pretty good. It's called Property Club, and he's Australian, and he's got a place in Subic. But they put it up for sale, and he wants to be on the beach somewhere. And he um, he was gonna. He said he was gonna go to Bel Air, but he. 
he didn't like to drive and they wouldn't let him in anyway to look at property because he used to be a resident. So he, he picked a place called Pantucket. Sounds like Nantucket, but Pantucket, I don't, I don't know. We tried to find it. I, he didn't really say where it was located. I think he said it was like an hour drive from where he is now. But uh, I, I wrote him. I wrote him, but he didn't write me back to tell me where it's at. But anyway, he, as one of his jobs here, he, he works a lot. He does a lot of internet stuff. I think he does call center also. And then he does this real estate stuff. Which he's pretty smart. He's pretty knowledgeable about a lot of things. His videos are really good. Property Club, if you want to watch him. Like I said, he's Australian. And his latest one was uh, him buying a place in Pantucket. And he said the prices are still pretty reasonable there, but basically if you want to be right on the water, it's like 5,000 pesos per square meter. And uh, where we live in um, Tingalan, our property, we didn't pay nearly that much. But everybody, like I said, wants to wants to talk you down, this and that, this and that. And they were complaining there's no right away, and they were going to have to buy this, and they want a discount. And uh, I told Grace, just tell them, just tell them to forget it. Uh, I have too much money invested there now with what we paid the guy and the buildings I put in and all the stuff storms and stuff we had to go through rebuilding uh plus they're doing all the roads there and they're making it nice so i think once they reopen that area once all this pandemic stuff's over with and they reopen it and the roads are all finished uh the property's going to go up and uh this property club guy he said uh yeah it's going up everywhere he said even angelo city few years ago you could get it cheap and now it's up subic's up everything's up uh which kind of doesn't make any sense because nobody's really buying but hey people are asking higher prices so if everybody asks higher prices it's going to go up so i said no we're just going to hold on to it uh if we sell this place we don't have a place to go anyway if we sell that place too so uh, for now, just going to hang on to it, see what happens. We're still still hoping to sell this place. And um, who knows, maybe, uh, maybe we'll do another sort of resort there. I'm not going to build any permanent structures. I thought about maybe just doing it as a um, uh, kind of like if you want to spend the night, you just rent the tent or bring your own tent. Maybe I'll buy some tents and you can set them up anywhere you want on the property and just spend the night in the tent. Do it as like a little camping thing for people that don't want to spend a lot of money. Um, this is after they open up everything, of course, open the resorts up. But it's down the road, so I'm not worried about it. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not giving the place away. Um, I spent too much money already. So uh, that's the story there, but um, I would like to find out where this Pantucket is, and hopefully Property Club will uh, mention me, he's, he's got a good channel, he's got a lot of good viewers, a lot of subscribers, and um, yeah, give him, give, him a shoot, give him a shout out, watch his channel, give him a shout out. Uh, other than that, it's, uh, I hate to say it every day, but it's another hot one. Um, just laid down the AC a little bit. Uh, gonna just uh, take a shower here soon, relax. Grace and Catherine are uh, over to sisters again. So, that's gonna do it, really. Uh, no more news. The puppies are doing good. I can hear them crying out there. The mothers don't always want to nurse. Um, I do give them puppy food too. 
and they do eat the the solid food they like it so they're getting to the point where pretty soon we'll be able to give them away and um, see what happens so uh, I guess that's all I got to tell you right now uh, I'll show you the puppies again another time because I'm inside today not doing any outside stuff um, but like I said they're all doing all right so I'll let you know if there's any changes or news on anything here. Right now there's no news on, on, on anything going on. But uh, that's the update. Thanks for watching. Stay safe again, once again. And uh, take care of yourself, your friends, your family, your pets. And that's going to do it for good old Santa Claus. Now living in the Philippines, God bless everybody. Over and out.